Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be teaching you how to make a jump menu similar to this on Wikipedia where you see the hashtag and then whatever, the pound sign, whatever you want to call it, and it jumps to that part section of the page. It's super easy to do. This is kind of working with IDs of things on pages. So it's really easy to actually do, and you will learn more about IDs and divs and stuff like that where I do a tutorial just covering basic CSS. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a basic website. Do HTML head title jump page. So go ahead and end that. Go ahead and open up the body, BG color. Let's do a nice light gray. You can use something like color picker to find the right color. And I just know that's light gray. So go ahead and and do that make sure you end the head tag I don't want to confuse HTML and then go ahead and type h1 let's history uh, all about HTML and h1 that makes it the biggest font on the page so you get the idea so let's say we want to make a jump page like this I'm gonna have a few menus right here let's look at their menu on this so let's just do a href pound sign close slash a let's just copy this about three three or four times one two three four okay now let's call this section history markup um, what else can I call it? Three variations. Fail spelling. And then see also. There we go. We have some links. If I go ahead and refresh, they don't appear because they need the titles. So let me just add them real quickly. And let me get back to you. I did make one tiny change, by the way. I did go ahead and add the ability to change it to just C. Make sure you know the case sense that these are case sensitive. So I'm going to be using the span tag, span ID, similar to div. And let's go ahead and call this ID history because this will contain all our information on history. Then if I go ahead and do H2, history. H2 and let me go ahead and find some information. No, you have to be able to scroll down the page in order for this to work the jump links because it doesn't really make sense to jump when you can't scroll. So let me go ahead and just copy and paste this paragraph a few times. So let's just see here. Thanks, Wikipedia, by the way. One time, two times, three times, four times. Alright, so if I go ahead and do slash span. I'm just going to copy this again and just change it real quickly. The next one was markup, so let's just change this to markup. You can call these whatever you want, this is just a heading. Markup. Next one is variations. Very good. Make sure it is case sensitive. Okay, and that should be good, but I can also do the see all, which might as well real quickly. Alright, so we got that. Let me go ahead and go to our jump page. If I go ahead and refresh, you see all this long boring text, and let's say I want to jump to see also. I can click that link, it jumps to see also, because that's the very last part you can jump to. Variations, click that, and it should work and we are good to go so basically as simple as giving it an id so just going ahref equals pound sign history or whatever i'm then making a span and iding it with the same one you did before so make sure you do that and you are good to go and thank you for watching this video that's how you make jump style links on pages Pretty simple, easy to do, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.